Okay, so I am back um, with this painting. I don't know if the first set of footage that I filmed will actually work, because um, I realized it was cut off. But this is about the sixth layer of this piece, and we're on the third layer of the second piece. So I'm going to be starting with this guy, because I know there's a lot of work to be done in this. And so let's get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to have to do is re-wet my paints with my bottle. Uh, this is just a little Mr. Bottle. I actually bought it off of Etsy, but it's really great for re-wetting paints. So the first thing I'm going to um, do is kind of re-wet the piles of paint that I had and work back in those colors. So I can see for the photo that I definitely need more depth on this part and more warmth. So I'm going to take my lovely orange mix and just get that in there. While that guy is drying, I'm gonna go back to the second one. And we're just gonna darken those areas again. You really wanna build up those layers of lovely color. And make sure that this layer is a little darker, a little more stark since the other layers I was a little more cautious with. But I don't want to cover up all the beautiful things the other layer did. on the eye. So I want to get the dark portion of the eye first. painting. So I can see that the nice dark that we had going here needs to darken some more.
is drying, I'm going to move back to the second piece. So this piece is almost done and I'd like to add a few finishing touches using some of my white Winsor Newton calligraphy ink. Uh, now the reason I'm using this instead of using the white gouache or um, Chinese white watercolors by Winsor Newton is that I want a really opaque white. I really want that to stand out and be really sharp. And the reason being is that I really want these lovely adorable whiskers to show up. So before I do that, I do want to put a light background in. So I'm going to mix a few colors and we can test on the back of a spare sheet of paper what colors we like with this. One that I did like was my, uh, this color right here that I'm picking up and that is the Rose Ultramarine by Daniel Smith. It's a gorgeous, bright, purpley color. I'll move this so you can see it. It's this color right here, and it is very vibrant and very pretty, but it's a little dark. So what I would like to try is mixing that with my Holbein paint here, which is a Horizon Blue. And this will create a more of a lighter, like, lilac -y color, which actually looks really good. So while I'm mixing that up, so we have this color, which I actually really like that, but I think I want a little more warm, a little pinkier. So there are a few options there. I just want it to be very pale, very pale color, and I want it to complement the painting. So what I need to do for that is get a wash brush, one that I can control and get a lot of paint in. I have plenty of paint mixed on this side over here. I'm going to go ahead and start right here. background and I think there's one thing I want to do and let's go back in with the eye just a little bit and warm it up so while that one is drying since this is gonna be the um, background layer here I'm gonna go ahead and work on the other painting while well, that one's drying and then we can get back to finishing details.
wash is done, you can see all the beautiful colors here. And I want to show you this, the palette real quick because here's the little tube of fresh paint that I pulled out to make this wash. And look at all the beautiful rings of color coming out from it. Now, what that is, is that's basically the pigments in this particular paint separating from themselves. And it is a granulating paint, meaning that when you paint with it, they separate like that. If you look very closely here, you can see that even starting to separate and it creates this like spotted um, space-like texture, which is really fun. So I'm gonna let this guy dry and we're gonna pull out the first bunny. Is the final piece. All right, so it is now time to finish this guy. So for him, the background was just finished and I'm pretty sure that I'm ready for the ink details. This guy is also done, has the nice fur details, and he's ready to go. So there's just a quick partial um, video of my process and how I completed these little watercolor rabbit portraits. Thank you again for everybody who sent me photos. It was really fun and I'm going to be doing more, uh, so stay tuned for that. And yes, thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.